today I want to talk to you about going higher and higher and we have all seen that person that maybe inspires you to grow, that causes you to stretch out of your comfort zone, the person that you look to and you think, I wanna be like them, that is who I admire. Those kinds of people, those true authentic leaders that are placed in your life or that really are the type of person you want to become. And the thing is that success doesn't come easy. If it came easy, everyone would be successful but what I notice when I talk with people is that people are comfortable at a certain level you know they, they just kind of get to the certain place and they plateau and they're making enough money they're living in an, an okay house they're living an okay health they're living with okay relationships they're living in an okay marriage Ouch, I'm crying now. <laughs> but what God has for us is above and beyond all that we can ask or imagine. The thing is that people just get to this place and they think, well, you know, like I made it. I'm out of high school. I don't need to push myself any further. I don't need to read anymore. I don't need to learn anymore. I don't need to try to get a better job I'm doing good this job's gonna carry me all the way to you know retirement and so you know you don't really go anywhere you just stay and I just want to tell you that that is not what God has for you God has above and beyond for your life he has the best intentions for your life he said that if we ask him we will receive it if we seek we will find if we knock the doors will open the problem is we stop asking we stop seeking we stop knocking because we want that instant gratification and when the door doesn't kick open right away you know the society is all about fast fast 5g <laughs> and so people give up they want it right now right now right now they're not willing to put in the sweat equity they're not willing to pull it out for the long run of endurance and you know i'm gonna use this analogy because i was in sports growing up and i i was a cheerleader and i ran and one of the things is when we would run in relay they would have a baton <laughs> something very similar to this <laughs> and you would run your distance however many yards and you would have your baton and when you got to that mile, mile marker you passed your baton to the guy behind you who's who's already fresh off the the mark and he's not out of breath like you are because you're booking it this is not long distance running this is booking it running as fast as you can so by the time this guy comes up on the edge and he grabs that baton he takes off okay and so then it goes on to the next guy and then he gets the baton and he takes off. So every time you're passing that baton, the person who passes the baton gets to take that little break, okay? Because you're working towards it. But what happens is when you get to the very end of this race, you've got four or five people passing off this baton and you cannot win without each other, and you cannot win without putting in the work behind the scenes, the thing is that people don't see what happens behind the scenes. They don't see what caused that team to win. They want what you have, but they don't wanna do what you did. <laughs> they don't wanna put in the sweat equity. They don't wanna get up early and exercise. They don't wanna eat right and have the right relationships and have the right commitments and put their focus on what's important they don't want to learn anymore read anymore grow anymore i know that's not you today otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video you can grow more you can climb up to a higher level i want to tell you what god's word says about um working hard work and then i'm going to give you a little testimony because you know, people sometimes ask me and they think that I just kind of, a lot of people think I came from some rich, wealthy family. I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you in just a second. But I'm going to tell you what God's word says first. Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, 
work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. This is one of my favorite scriptures because in the back of my mind, wherever I work, I always know my paycheck comes from God. This favor is coming from God. This promotion came from God. It might have been delivered through the boss. It might have been delivered through their bank account. It might have come through a person. But my blessings come from God. Proverbs 14, 23. I think it's 23. In all toil there is profit, but mere talk only leads to poverty. I like this one too because this is kind of like I talked about a few weeks ago where, you know, it's like put your money where your mouth is. It's, you know, don't just act like you have integrity and say you're something and then not be the thing. If you say you're a hard worker, be a hard worker. I find it better to just not say it and just do it. You know, because I'm an action person, and, and to me, the actions speak more than all your little wasted words. You can speak and speak and speak and say everything you think everyone wants to hear. But at the end of the day, whatever you're putting into motion is really what people are seeing. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit your work unto the Lord, and your plans will be established. This one is a powerful verse because... You know, as followers of Christ, we have thousands and thousands of promises that are just for us. And I know that sounds that it sounds like, you know, oh, you're getting special treatment. Yes, we are getting special treatment. It is called the favor of the Lord. And it is for those who choose to put their trust in God, who choose to follow Him, who choose to turn away and not do what everything everyone else is doing in this world. They choose to go higher and higher because it doesn't matter where you started from in this life. If behind the scenes you are obeying God and you are working heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men or giving lip service or pretending to be whatever, God sees. He sees your diligence. He sees your hard work. He sees what you're doing behind the scenes to grow, to learn, to climb, to obey Him. He will lift you. It doesn't matter what people think about you. It doesn't matter if they think you're qualified. It doesn't matter what people say. All that matters is our audience of one as followers of Christ. For me, my greatest inspirational person is Jesus. He was the greatest leader I've ever known. He was integral to the very end. That's the kind of leader I want to be. Now, I'm going to tell you a uh, short little testimonial story about my life okay because no you don't start up here you know and so sometimes people get really harsh with others and they you know maybe kind of criticize them and well look where you came from or why aren't you there yet or whatever kinds of messages people try to put into your mind don't entertain them because when you follow Christ there's nothing but victory in your future. You don't believe me? Read the Bible. It's filled with what God says about who he's calling you to be. It's filled with it. So if you stay in there, you're going to see it for yourself. But I just want to tell you that, you know, growing up, we I came from a single family home. I grew up living in a trailer. I grew up struggling. We struggled to make ends meet. We were very poor. And my mother did the best that she could. But I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I was not born into a family that was well-to-do or had all the greatest things. And it doesn't even matter. What matters is that when God sees your heart for Him, that you are willing to put in the work, be who He says you're going to be, and be integral. And you do that work behind the scenes, he's going to lift you up. So I didn't start where I am now. And I'm not done with my life. My life is still continuing to go higher and higher. And yours can too. I mean, God pulled me up out of drugs. I was addicted to crystal meth. You can't tell it by looking at me now. <laughs> I mean, it's a miracle I have any teeth left. I came up out of drugs, drinking, and smoking 
not only that, but an abusive marriage. If anything, I am a walking testimony, a miracle, but I will tell you, it, it wasn't all easy. Coming from here to here to here and all of the steps going like the Bible says, glory to glory, it takes work. You have to go and do the heart work. You have to go and stare the demons in the eye and fight them the way God tells us to. You have to be willing to grow, to learn, to come to an honest place with yourself and say, stop blaming people. Take accountability for your own life, for your own actions. And when God starts filling you up and he changes your life, it doesn't matter what people say. You can't go anywhere but up. So this message today is about that. It's about climbing higher and higher and higher because if God can pull me up out of drug addiction, the whole drug life, drug scene, drug husband, drug lords, from uh, addictions, from poverty, from abusive marriage, he can do the same for you. And maybe, you, maybe your life wasn't as colorful as my past, but it doesn't matter. God has a story for you that he's already pre-written. So many people go to the grave and they never even unpack the package that God has for them, the beautiful gift, the story he has for you. It breaks my heart because God is so good. He's not just good when things are good. He's good when you're down. He's good when you need comfort. He's good all the time. And he has a beautiful life for you. It's not easy. If it were easy, it is not worth having. I hope that you will give your life to Christ today. Just invite him into your heart. The Bible says that we've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. But those who put their trust in Jesus will be saved. So you can call upon him. You can invite him into your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Change me. Make me new. Give me a vision for my life. He will. I hope you made this decision today. And if you did, please let me know. I want to pray for you. Congratulations. And I want to speak to all of those people who are my partners, my prayer partners, my financial partners. Thank you guys. I can't do this without you. I'm so grateful that God has touched the hearts of people to surround me to help grow this ministry. I am so grateful and thankful. And so also I want to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the yellow bell. You'll get the notification whenever I make a new video. Subscribe there and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, MeWe now, which is very private compared to Facebook. <laughs> And I will leave my link below so you can support this ministry through the t-shirt line that I have going, which also helps me to support other ministries overseas. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next video.